Okay, guys, I have a quick grocery haul for you guys, or I'm going to try to be quick. <laughs> hey, <guys. laughs> Say hi. Hi. <laughs> I have the girls here with me. Natalie went with me to the grocery store and then of course Lana's gonna have to help and put things up. But we are gonna quickly go through what we bought today. It is summertime so there's mostly snacks. Snacks, snacks, snacks for the kids so they do not bother me during the day. But we have Totino's pizza which I just realized that I always thought it was Tostino's. But I was wrong. We have, isn't that what? Oh it is right. <laughs> Okay, I know y'all heard that. We have Texas Toast, the Sparkling Ice. We bought that case and we are now restocking on Black Cherry and Strawberry Watermelon. These are Jacob's favorite. I have been craving French Toast, so I don't know if he's gonna care for it too much, so we just got him the Egos. For produce, we have raspberries and strawberries. Come on, Natalie. Blackberries and whipped topping. That is so, so good. We have cherries. Expensive cherries, guys. These cherries were $15. $15, that is wild. <laughs> we have lettuce, a classic garden mix, broccoli, what is this? bell pepper, avocado, and tomatoes. And then over here for um, like sandwich meat and stuff, we have beef hot dogs. These are the only hot dogs that Jacob will eat. We cannot purchase any other brand or just regular hot dogs because he will know and he will not eat it. Then, like I said, no, did I say it? No, I have been craving like a French toast breakfast. So I got some breakfast sausage, some bacon. Natalie and Alfredo are going on a picnic soon. So we have two packs of the honey smoked turkey breast. You guys know that this is the only sandwich meat my family really eats. I also have been wanting a torta. So I got two packs of the finely diced beef, which is like carne de res, just picada. And also we put ham on that with beans and lettuce, tomato, avocado, just really, really good. And then we have eggs back here. Got some goldfish for Elena. And then uh, fettuccine Alfredo is what we want. I try to use whatever pasta I have in the house and lately Elena's been not wanting that. She wanted the actual fettuccine Alfredo noodles. All noodles are the same child. Anyway, so I got these. They were only 98 cents each. We'll only use one, but I bought an extra just to have. Um, the girls have been wanting me to try these Olipop, so I have the Dr. Goodwin because Dr. Pepper is my favorite drink. And then also I have the strawberry vanilla. Y'all know I need these right next to my bed. Then I also wanted to try this. It's the Berry Blast, but it's just something that I can squirt into the water. And then husband needed some um, shampoo and conditioner. That's just, is that the N1? I hope so. Oh, it's just shampoo. And then here I have sour cream. You guys know how I make my yogurt. I do the blended vanilla alongside with this vanilla blueberry granola. This is my favorite. It has little tiny chunks of blueberry in it. And then I like to dice up strawberries and add fresh blueberries on there. I think I've made a shorts with that before. I don't know if I've actually shared it in a video, but I did a shorts a while back. I think I've already said sour cream. I don't know if I bought these because they're cute because they are in a little barrel, but they actually look really good. And then all like the Flavorful. seasoning is yeah it looks really good down there so i want to try those and then natalie has these for her little picnic i did buy her well it's the families but i got a picnic basket so if that comes in early in the morning as planned i'll share that with you guys if not i'll just insert a picture we have some more nutella because elena is on a nutella phase right now not sure why but man she's eating it all up then we have some country time lemonade this is a family favorite Natalie don't care too much for it, but she'll drink it if she has to. We have Alfredo sauce. This is our favorite. The Bertoli is our favorite. And I have three packs of cereal. It is just cheaper to do it this way instead of buying the box and the name brand. I will get, um, cause I put them in the, um, like the little bins or whatever. 
and I can fill it up twice with these. So we have the Fruity Pebbles, which are called Fruity Dino Bites. We have the Cinnamon Toasters, which is Cinnamon Toast Crunch, and the Fruity Dino Bites. I think the only difference between, between these two is this one has marshmallows in it. Yeah, guys, if you have a Kroger, you need to get this, because it's good. <laughs> we have chips. We have two packs of Dynamites, a Spicy Nacho Doritos, and Doritos Flamas. Natalie and I, and I think Coco too, right? Coco, we all like sweet tea, so we restocked up on that. This will last us a very, very long time. A very long time. Um, a small case of water, only because it was gonna be raining and I didn't wanna carry cases of water, so we just did one for now. Uh, we have drinks, Fanta Grape, Root Beer, Sprite, and Coke. I don't know about you guys, but I think this is the best brand of Root Beer. We have Jacob's favorite Kool-Aid Jammers along with his High C Orange. If you've watched my channel for a while, back in the day when I used to do a lot more grocery hauls, you know that this was always, always in my grocery hauls. I would have like four or five of them just to stay stocked up. He was also much younger back then, but now he's kind of going on to the Kool-Aid packs. I have this Zero Sugar Dr. Pepper. I don't know what the difference is between the Zero Sugar and Diet Dr. Pepper, but I think that this one tastes way better. We have some grilled chicken for some quick salads or grilled chicken wraps. Like I said, I've been craving some breakfast and we have shredded hash browns. Tortillas for grilled chicken wraps. These were on sale for $1.99, so we stocked up on them because of, again, it is summer, so we will be doing French toast breakfast, sandwiches, um, but they were $1.99 each, so these will be going pretty quickly. Also, the cheese was on sale, three for seven, so I have two Kobe Jack and one mozzarella, and then Swiss cheese for sandwiches, and if I'm not mistaken, I think that is all for my grocery haul. And this was mostly just like an easy grocery haul. I think I only have like three dinners in here, but um, in a couple of weeks, because I don't know if I even told you guys that the refrigerator is not working. It has not been working for quite a while. What, like maybe two or three months? Maybe two or three months it has not been working. Um, they finally came today to let me know what was wrong with it. And it's gonna take another two weeks for the parts to come in. So my husband did buy me a refrigerator back in November because I needed it because I couldn't fit the turkey inside um, this refrigerator and I needed some extra space so we bought a small one so that's what we're using right now we're going back and forth from the garage to um, get all the food and stuff that we need when we're cooking but anyways that's all for this haul hope you guys enjoyed it now let's get back into the video okay so please don't mind the background noise you know it's summertime kids are home Jacob is in the living room watching storm chasers and having some I guess an early lunch he's eating the chicken alfredo from the night before um, but here is the picnic basket it is so cute it came with everything that you would need besides the food of course but this is the wicker basket and it's also insulated and I really really like that so it's gonna keep the food and drinks cool or warm if there was hot food and it has like these little slots that we'd be able to put little things in, you know. It came with a silverware set for four people. So there's four butter knives, forks, spoons, and there's also a bottle opener. I don't know if we'll ever need that, but I guess it's handy to have. And then it has this little um, fabric case, I guess, to hold everything together. I thought that was really cute. It came with these four glasses. They are so tiny. I had already thought about getting some from the Dollar Tree, but these are so cute. And they're gonna go right on here, just like that. So there's four of those. I think that is so cute, so romantic. Oops. There's also these two dishes right here. Um, I know that she is planning on cutting up some strawberries, so I guess she can just take them in like a little Ziploc bag and then take them out and put them in these. So cute. There's two of them. It would have been nice if there was four, but two is fine. Because I know she has like some little pickles and stuff. You guys seen in the grocery haul the little things that she had. So those are cute. And then there are some salt and pepper shakers. 
And if they were to take fruit, you know how the fruit and um, tahin, tahin would go great in one of these. Not sure if they really need any salt and pepper. <coughs> Excuse me. Not sure if they really need any salt and pepper. But this is the little table because I thought that um, a charcuterie board would be cute. But I like this table because it's actually the top. It's actually the top to the picnic basket. So um, she would need to strap these in like that. It's hard to do it with one hand, but she'll need to strap that in like that. That is very cute. And I think my favorite thing out of everything is that it comes with a picnic blanket. Um, I can't open it, but it seems pretty big. I've seen, you know, the reviews and the little videos and stuff it had on Amazon. But I think that is so cute. And I think this is the perfect little picnic basket. And this is something that I can do with the kids over the summer as well. I really like it. I think it was worth the money that I paid for it. But yes, if she takes any pictures, um, I'll upload those. Well, not in this video because this video will be going up before she goes on her picnic. So, But yes, guys, this is it for today's video. I know it was a short one. Thank you for watching my grocery haul. And thank you for sticking around to see the... Um, wicker picnic basket to my oldies but goodies guys thank you so much for always watching my videos always coming back and supporting to all of my new subscribers thank you so so much for joining my youtube family and to all the ones who watch and have yet to subscribe thank you so much for spending your time here with me i know that your time is irreplaceable uh, there's no price on it and i know that um you took a few minutes or today maybe 10 minutes out of your day to hang out and i appreciate that but again thank you all for watching i love each and every single one of you and i will definitely see you in the next one xoxo love jesse